Hello people, this is self Touch and let's understand how we can create a chatbot using ChatGPT and Node.js. So in this video, we'll be using the OpenAI library provided by Python, which can be used to interact the ChatGPT server. So let's understand what we'll be building. So there will be a Python script or you can say a Python application and we have this ChatGPT server which is hosted somewhere on the cloud. We'll create a connection in between the Python script or our application and the ChatGPT server. So we'll be using the OpenAI library which has been provided by the OpenAI guys and we will be using that particular module. So for connection between our script and the ChatGPT server, we need an OpenAI key. So we'll be creating an OpenAI key, which is basically a authentication used by the ChatGPT server from the clients who are calling it. So we'll be creating this API key on the website platform.openai.com. And finally, we'll be using the OpenAI Python. Let's go to the Chrome browser and here we'll be opening the website that is platform.openai.com. So here is the website and here you can see I'm already logged in. If you are not logged in or if you have not created your account, you can use simple Google login to basically create this. You can see that we have couple of AI references and these are the different open API APIs which can be used by developer to interact with their server. We are interested in creating the API key. So we'll click here on our profile and here we'll be having the view API key. So as you can see that I have already created two secret keys and this is visible only for once. So once you create a new secret key, it will be visible only for once and then you can't see it. So it's very important like first time when you click on this button, create new secret, you need to write down your secret key somewhere else so that you can use it again. So just click on this button and then you'll be able to create your secret key. So this is the process for creating the API key. The next thing that we'll be using is the Python open AI module. So let's go and search it. That will be Python open AI. And this is the first link, which basically takes you to the library. So here is the library and you can just use pip install open AI to install this library. So we'll be creating our project and basically we'll be using it. We'll be also using the Python dot environment module which will basically read the configuration from a file and create environment variables out of it let's go to our pycharm and there we'll be creating our python project so i'll open my pycharm and here we'll be creating a new project so i'll click on new project it will be pure python i'm using wsl of windows and in the wsl i'm running ubuntu 20.04 so you can use any operating system whatever you want so i'll be creating the project here so let me take you to this file that is home and then inside the home there is workspace here i have already created this python folder and here you can i need to create a new folder and that new folder will be what it will be chat gpt with python so let me do okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to select it I'll be using a previously configured interpreter here because I'll be, I need to configure the interpreter where I'll be creating my virtual environment. So it will be on WSL and this is just a process that I am following. You need to create the virtual environment folder or like pip environment, anything based on your requirement. So this is the base interpreter that I'm using and my location will be again in the same folder. So I'll go to self touch and then inside the workspace, uh, sorry, inside the workspace, inside the workspace, Python, chat GPT with Python and inside the chat GPT with, with Python, I'll create a new folder that is called as VNV and it is, it will be storing all my dependencies. So I'll click OK, click create and it will start creating my virtual environment and finally create from existing sources. So it is up to you like how you are creating your virtual environment or anything and then basically you can start the coding process. So you can see here this is chat GPT with Python and there's a virtual environment. Now what we need to do, we need to install the libraries. Let's go to our terminal. You can also use your terminal and I am using my terminal here. I can do ls. I'll go inside workspace and then I'll go inside Python. Inside Python, this is the folder chat GPT with Python. And here what I'll do, I'll activate my virtual environment. So this is source VNB bin activate. You could have used the PyCharm only, but I generally follow this command line process. So I'll use pip install and then open AI. 
so this is the library that will be installing so it has been successfully installed here then the next thing is what i'll be installing python dot environment to read the environment variable so i'll use python uh, pip install python dot env so this is going to install this one let's go to our pycharm and here what we'll do we'll create a new file that will be called as main dot py so i'll come here click on file and main dot py so this is the main file where we'll be writing our script for connection between the chat gpt server and our main dot py so let's import some of the modules so i will import uh, open ai and then i'll also import uh, or from dot env i'll say import and then load dot env so after this i am going to call load dot env so what this is going to do this will try to find a environment very uh, environment variable file dot env and from there it will read all the files so what i am going to do here is i'll go to chat gpt with python folder and inside new i'll create this file dot env so inside this one i'll be creating a new variable that will be called as open ai and then api key so the key that you created in the last step where we went to the website of openai platform.openai.com created a key so that will be inserted here so you need to insert your key here i'll be inserting my key here don't share that key with any other people otherwise your account can be hacked and other people can use it and it will be rate limited so you need to put your open api key here i'll be putting mine here so inside the main.py i have already loaded the dot environment folder now i need to supply the open api key so i can say open ai dot api key is equal to os dot environment dot get and then basically the this open api key so what this will do this will read from the file dot environment and it will supply that value to the open ai dot api key now what we need to do we'll be creating a new method that will be called as call chat gpt and here what we are going to do we will be passing a prompt so this prompt is nothing it is just a text so here what we are going to do we are going to create a try block and inside the try we'll say accept exception as e because we need to print the exception whenever it happens uh, let's say we are connecting to the chat gpt server and there is some exception so we need to understand like what is the exception that's why we has uh, we have written it so inside this try block what we are going to do we are going to use this open ai dot chat completion dot create so we'll be using this method of the open ai library and here we need to supply some of the things first thing is what first thing is the model so inside the model we need to provide a value so as we know that all the artificial intelligence uh, servers have been created by reading large amount of data so there are different models that are present some can be less effective some can be more effective like you can use large number of nodes or computer or supercomputers to create a particular model by reading large number of videos files books everything so there are different model types and what we are going to use is gpt 3.5 dot uh, hyphen turbo so you can go to the open ai website and find out all the different models that are present after the model what we are going to do we are going to type messages like what type of message we want to provide to the chat gpt server and what response do we want and we also need to provide the role like how we are asking it so the role that we'll be providing is the user role and then what we are going to do we are also going to say that what is the content and inside the content will be will be passing our prompt we have provided the model we have provided the messages and finally we need to provide the max tokens value because using this max token value we'll get the uh, size of the data that will be written so let's give it a big value of let's say 2000 and that is done here so this will return us a uh, instance variable that will be open ai underscore result so let's take that variable as open ai result and once we get the response so what we can do we'll say that result equal to open ai result dot choices so if you print the open ai result you will get the choices key inside there that will be an array so we'll say choices dot message dot content okay and then we are going to print this result so this is the way like we talk to the chat gpt server and finally we are printing the result 
inside here what leads to a thing that is called as if underscore underscore name equal to equal to underscore underscore main so why do we do it when we run it using the python interpreter so that this particular code runs so let's use the call chat gpt and uh, let's ask a question from it like who invented python and let's see that that it works or not so this is like call chat gpt who invented python let's go to our terminal again so i am inside my terminal here let's run this file python main.py so what this script is doing basically it is connecting to the chat gpt server so see the response awesome python was invented by Guido von Rossum at the national research institute of mathematics and computer science in netherland in the year 1989 so this is the year when python was invented so let's now ask who is the prime minister of india so india is my country let's ask this so you can run it from here also so this time let's run it from here so he's the prime minister of india let's see what is the response from chat gpt server as an ai language model i do not have access to the real time information but as of my last training data narendra modi is the current prime minister of india so you can see what i said that we have different models and the models are created by gathering data from somewhere else like you can read online articles or something so it is saying like i am not having the latest training data but according to the last data that it read narendra modi was the current prime minister so if something happened in the history so that thing is not going to change and chat gpt will give you the correct response so that's why we have chat gpt 4 which is like the new updated version that has the data up to 2022 something so there are different models and you can use it based on your need so this is the way how we created a chatbot a simple chatbot using python and chat gpt apis so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please share these videos with other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you